On to some of the stories now, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Jay Jayalalitha has justified her government's ban on the film Vishwarupam due to shortage of police to provide enough security at the theatres. She said she had no personal grudge against Kamal Hassan, the director and the main actor of the movie, and neither did she have any personal interest in banning the movie. She further said that the ban was imposed based on intelligence inputs about the likely violence. She also said that if the leaders of the Muslim organizations and Kamal Hassan could work out an amicable agreement, the government of Tamil Nadu would facilitate it. Suppose the government had proceeded to allow the film to be screened. This film was proposed to be released in 524 theatres in Tamil Nadu alone. The Federation of Muslim Organizations had demanded a ban on the movie. Now overruling their protests, and overlooking their demands, there was every apprehension that these protests could turn violent. Maintaining law and order doesn't mean allowing a situation to turn violent, allowing violence to take place, and then stepping in to try and quell the violence and restore peace. And particularly when you have only a limited police force as we do in the state. Why should I have any grudge against Mr. Kamala Hassan? It just doesn't make sense. There is no reason, no motive at all. So to say that uh, it, it, uh, there was a demand that the film should be sold at uh, a low price to JRTV and because of that uh, I am taking this action is a wild, reckless charge against the responsible constitutional authority. And whoever has made these charges we will have to take legal action against them. On behalf of Raj Kamal Films International and on behalf of Mr. Kamal Hassan, let me first thank our beloved Chief Minister for intervening in the issue at the right time and for the right problem. I must also inform everybody concerned here that we are prepared to hold talks with the 24 or 23 uh, Muslim movement organizations directly or through their coordinator and with the help of Mr. Amir, I am very confident that a satisfactory solution will be arrived at. And as our Honorable Chief Minister had conveyed to us, Convinced in, in a press statement, the government of Tamil Nadu will facilitate a smooth release of a great movie and settle uh, and settle the trouble troubling issue once and for all. I'd like to take this opportunity on behalf of the film fraternity to thank the honourable chief minister for saving a part to facilitate the release of this open. We are all very happy, overjoyed at this, and we hope to see the speedy release of the film. We are uh, going through a phase which is taking us to dark ages. We uh, have made movies with everything that's been there. It's, it's, it was movies were taken as movies. Now to give interpretations of caste and religion and all those things and just because 20 people are sort of getting up and uh, doing uh, shouting slogans. And the fact that the establishments and the government actually listen to them only points out one thing that they want to do. Uh, it's an appeasement for the politics. Take care. I think anybody in Kamalasan's place would be, would react in the same, same way. Because definitely he's sad because the money has been invested so much. A uh, 95 crore movie. It is. It's very sad. It is. He's been traumatic, uh, traumatized, and I understand his trauma, his plight, the way he's going through uh, everywhere to release the film. So it's very sad. It's very sad day for democracy. It's very sad day for hundred years of cinema we are talking about. This absolutely. Sad. One day, as uh, he said that, he, it's the power is with your media people. Uh, whatever we can do, we are trying to. One day it will come clean. And whatever you want to make, you're making it if it is cleared by sense of board, which is highly respected. That's it.